China wants to dominate advanced industry, so we need to know whether it can innovate, not just copy. We've studied 10 industries, from semiconductors to robots, and China's making rapid progress. It's already a leading innovator in some areas, and it's on track to pull ahead in the next decade. So yes, Chinese firms and universities are becoming true innovators. They have 20% more researchers than the United States, and the quality of their research is improving. It's all part of China's plan. Xi Jinping has said technological innovation is the world's main battleground. So China is trying to win by building up its own advantages and degrading its competitors. That's very different than the U.S. model. Here, innovation starts with discovery and invention. There, it starts with copying discoveries, then innovating, producing, learning, and improving. But the biggest difference is the goal. China wants techno-economic domination, whereas America focuses on consumer welfare and overall growth. That needs to change. In kinetic wars, we have national defense policies. In this techno-economic war, we need a strategy to make our advanced industries more competitive. I call it national power capitalism, and it's about expanding R&D and domestic production in critical technologies. We need better tax incentives, research institutes for specific technologies, and much more. So the government needs to take a more active role, but our system should be less state-directed than the China model. It's time for a serious debate. We need to debate whether to double down on our old model or change course.